right, a different take on those videos. Maybe there's more to us than painting. Maybe there's more to me than just folding and painting. Don't get me wrong, I painted a few days ago, last Sunday, and this Sunday I'm painting again. That doesn't change. However, so basically, I've been traveling all week for work. I have had no time of editing uh, the last Sunday's painting video. Since I'm committed to be releasing once a week, this is what's happening. So, I needed a break from editing. So, this is, this is my residential actually pool. So, I have a daily use of it. So, I'm kind of vlogging here. I told you in one of my previous videos when I was moving that I'm moving, so I've moved, right? So I kind of wanted to show you my kind of daily routine. So I'm really blessed. Yeah, so this is, this is where I, ah, oh shit. Trying to figure it out. So this is where I currently live. The last month has been absolutely exceptional in my life. Like after so many years of struggle and uh, just sacrifice, you know, I, I live in my dream place, really, um, here in London. And the most amazing thing is the reflection is. I always, you know, I always thought I would have made it as a first rapper, then a graffiti artist, to be able to be in this position. And this is my like normal day. You know, this is where my pool is by the river, and this is what I have like every day. It's just like, uh, I'm really blessed. Like, I've been working very hard for many years to get to this place, you know, and this is my daily life now. So it's not painting, it's not music, but just understand that I'm here, not by accident. It's not a mistake I'm here, right? It's the attitude. It's the attitude to the mindset of just not wasting any of your energy, any of your time that gets you to places like this, right? So it's kind of a weird video, I guess. I'm breaking, breaking the mold, so to speak. And yes, my number one passion in life is painting, right? So I understand that, you know, for many people, this is too much of a flex. What actually made me record this and say, fuck it, you know? It was the event of two weekends ago when I was assaulted by, you know, London graffiti artist. Wrote London writers because it all started from the fact that you know I'm a street artist my work is shit and they are the real graffiti artist and they own these walls in London but that energy that I encounter you know made me think a lot it wasn't the first time I was assaulted in London while painting being called names I've been painting 20 years right that mindset of a graffiti artist won't get you here, won't make you live your dreams. I came to London 15 years ago to pursue a career as a street artist, a graffiti artist. I've made some waves, 
no doubt about it. You know, maybe it doesn't look like in numbers because it doesn't, numbers don't lie. You know, there's something not happening, it's not happening, but I'm not going to force it. I might not be having millions of subscribers on YouTube. I might not have hundreds of thousands followers on Instagram for the excellence of the work, for the recognition of the excellence of the work I do. It's all about confidence and mindset because playing small doesn't get you here. It doesn't. So the gist of today's video is to follow your heart. Because those who are following their heart, you know, are rewarded. Because when you follow your heart and passion, it's actually when are you taken on hero's journey or self-discovery. And the universe reveals its secrets to those courageous enough who follow their hearts. This video and this video making is all over the place. All over the place, but it doesn't matter. It's just capturing I'm not creating, I've, I've said it many times in my videos, I'm not creating, I'm, dec I'm documenting. I'll tell you why I was struggling for so many years as a street artist. I'm recording on my phone, which is not really great for video, but I don't care. So what I'm saying, look, there's some nice art in my lobby. We have I have trees inside the building, but I actually prefer my Rostovisko. But that's a topic for a different video. So perfection is a disease. I'm all over the place, but I stopped making excuses years ago, right? And that's what got me here. The excuses are you have time. You have no time and you've known me working really hard for years. Just dedication, focus and sacrifice. But the reason I was struggling for so many years was I wanted success on my terms, right? I wanted it to pan out exactly as I wanted, you know, and I was so stubborn and I was forcing it. And when you force things, you block them. You know, I was resisting the flow and I was resisting the blessings because it's all about letting go and just following passion, right? And I've been following passions, but there was too much fight and resistance. I just let go. The reason I let go because I was beaten up by life so much because I wanted to be street artist, on my terms, right? So I was looking at my friends with whom I got up here in London, right? I, I won't be dropping names, but if you know anything about London scenes and UK scenes, UK scene, you know, we started the same at the same time, right? The success happened in an obvious way for them, the way it happened, you know? Well, I wanted to be in their positions and I was working for it, but there was resistance. And that resistance robbed me of excitement. I never made any excuses. And for a couple of years, I painted without excitement because it's about decision. It's about commitment. Inspiration is fucking overrated. If I waited for inspiration, I would have painted maybe two, wall, two walls, three walls a year, you know, over the last 10 years. But the fact I've been fucking committed and, you know, painting, regardless of the weather, without any excuses, got me here. And the biggest irony of it is that I wanted to be here you know, in fancy places, in luxurious places, on my terms. First, I thought it would be the music that will get me to this place of luxury and affluence and oh, my life is abundant, right? Look how, look, look at the shit. Look how many props I can have 
<laughs> for future walls. Like I'm kind of overwhelmed. I'm still adjusting to this new resonance. I'm still adjusting to this new way of living because I was starving artists for fucking too many years, right? But when you don't want to change, universe demands a change and you are being shaken, you know? You are put under the pressure under the, un, until you break. And I broke in so many ways, right? But I still ended, ended up here. I remember, you know, before they built anything here, before there were, when, when there were warehouses here, I was walking here and I, for, and then the next couple of years, I looked how this amazing place rose out of ground, right? And I was like, you know, one day I will live there. And what I find pretty amazing is what you focus on grows. I'm not fucking posting this to flex. But I'm posting this to let you know it's fucking possible. Like the last couple of weeks have been a dream. Like I live my dream. I miss home. I, I miss Poland, right? That's another story. Just stop playing small. You are just a graffiti artist. Just stop. Because let's change the sofa. Okay, let's change the sofa because I feel like a different sofa, right? <clears throat> the irony of it is, you, you know how long I've had my YouTube channel? Do you realize how long I've been smashing video content? And my content is good, right? It is good. It's more than good, right? Because I have... Um, I have an eye for some, you know, for certain things. The irony of it is, the whole gist of this video is, I was stressed on making this happen to get to this dream place, right? On my terms as a graffiti artist, you know, everybody will know my origami and all the shit. But what, this is the most important thing, right? This is the most important thing of the video. I've been making videos, I've been learning videography, I've been taking photos of my references and I, and of my walls, you know, and I've been obsessed about like technicality of videography and photography. I learned this shit. And even though the YouTube numbers are what they are, or even though my Instagram numbers are what they are, it doesn't matter. Because over all these years of fucking struggling, I've learned a skill. And this skill allowed me to be here, to live here. Yes, this week I've been traveling all over UK and I travel now, it seems I'm traveling to across UK a lot. Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds as a photographer and videographer, right? I'm editing like photo. If I'm not shooting, I'm editing photos, videos like eight hours a day, right? And because of the travel, not the computer time, like even though I painted last Sunday, I literally didn't have like time to edit it because life happens and you need to look after yourself. You need to look after your body. You look after your mind, right? And this is my break. And to prove you, I'm going to drop this video like this. I'm not going to overproduce it. I'm already overproducing it because I, <laughs> because I took the road wireless go and hooked it up, you know, to the, to the phone. So yeah, it's kind of produced, but that's the point. Just let go. I'm letting go. I'm learning to let go. Fuck this shit. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but just continue sticking to your passion, whatever it is, because something's happening backstage. 
that you can't see and the divine, the universe, the God is moving big times on your behalf as you pay the price for the big dreams you have. You have big dreams, you need to pay the price. You need to qualify with hard work and with self-discovery self and discipline to get here. But I'm telling you, I fucking got here. Tomorrow I'm folding all day and painting on Sunday, but I'm missing out on a graffiti video a week. But this is what it is. Let me know if you enjoy this intimate conversation between you and I, because I would love to share with you things I've learned over those 15 years from a perspective of a graffiti artist. I came here to London 15 years ago with a suitcase full of some paper, sketching material to live this fucking dream. And there are struggles, there are obstacles, there is pain, but stick to your passion and pay the price. Stop playing games, stop watching TV, Netflix and all the bullshit. Bullshit. It won't get you anywhere. Just commit yourself to excellence and maintain the clear image what you want and don't share it with anyone. Don't. Don't spill the beans. Don't tell. Don't share. This is not my end goal, but this is a story of Lot Nemarek who came to paint in London 15 years ago. Stop. Perfection is a disease. Attention to the detail is good. Passion is needed. Discipline is the most important thing. It's discipline that takes you there, here, right? Stop playing small. Just stop playing small. You can do this. I, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it and you can do this. My name is Airborne Mark, AKA Lot Nomadic. I'm a London-based street artist, passionate about painting origami. Check out some other of my videos that I hope you find them entertaining, informative, as I'm not creating, but documenting my journey. And as always, origami riots, folding all day, every day, and I'll see you at the wall at the next video and I'm out.